hauek izango ziren Ipar Ameriketako indiarrek entzungo zituzten lehen euskalitzak. Gure izkuntzakan ere izan zuen bere oiartzuna. Jatorria bera ere ez ezaguna duen izkuntza zarra. Euskerak egiten gaitu herri. Gure herriak lotura estua izan du itxasoarekin. Gure kostalde latzak zaildu ditu itxasgizon eta ontziak. Amasi garre mendean, ontzia jekin eman genion historian, lehen da bizikoz munduari itzulia, eta baliak harrapatzen genituen Ipar Ameriketako uretan. Han Euskal Arrantzalek denboraldi luzeak ematen zituzten, lehen kolono frantziar eta inglesak iritsi baino naskoz lehenago. Han gure arbasoak bertakoekin elkarlanean aritu ziren, eta merindiarren lanaren sari nagusia Euskal Bale txalupak ziren. Bale arrantzarako tresna ezino behau, hango biztan lehen artean oiko biak atzera eritsi zen. Ez darritzekoa, elkarlana Euskal kulturaren eta izarearen ariazlen agusinetakoa izan da beti. Guzti horren adirazle diren aztarnak nunai aurkitu dira Kanadan. Eta gaur egungo mugaz bestalde, estatu batuetako kostaldean ere izango dira. Horkitzen ditugun egunean, munduaren historian horri alde dar bat berri datzeko dugu. Historia hori esagutzen dut, nire arbasoen itxasontziak eraikitzen ari naizelako, haien ubera jarraituz. Xabira goten naiz, eta haien aztarnak aurkitu nahi ditut estatu batuetan, Kanadan egindan bezala. Aztarna horiek erakusten dutelako, Euskaldunen eta Amerikar indiarren arteko harremana elkarlanean oiarritzen zela, eta ez menperatu, eta ez menperatzai harreman batean. Kontatzea merezi duen historia der bat, Badakit kontatu nahi dudan historia gertatu zela. Duela urte batzuk, liburu zar batean irakurri nuen, mila seirun eta bian, Bartholo Miugos noldi izan zela, behineko kostaldera iritsi zen lehen esploratzaia inglesa. Iritsi eta bere ala, bere harri durarako, indiarrez osatutako tripulazioa zuen Euskal Txalupa batekin, topo egin zuen. Jantziak ere, europearrak zituzten. Amerindiarra iek, Euskal ontzi batekin elkartrukean egon berri zirela santzioten, eta plazentia izeneko leku bat aitatu zioten. Kanadako terrano ban bada, izen hori duen Euskal portu zahar bat, Gosnold berak ere ezagutzen zuena, baina zer dela eta aitatuko zioten, zazpirun itxas milia baino nurruti ego dagoen leku hori, honek azalpen bat behar zuen. Urte batzuk beranduago, meneko kostaldean abigatzen ari nintzala, karta nautikoa norabidea bilatzen, Ara nun eta plazenti izeneko irla txiki eta biztanleri gabekoan nengoela konturatu nintzen. Bera lao hartu nintzen, honek izan behar zuen, gosnolderi aipatu nahi izan zioten lekua, eta ez kanadakoa, orain arte uste izan dan bezala. Ziurrenik, meineko euskal plazentian aurkitzen nintzen. Orain, arkeologo talde batekin bertara itzuliko naiz. Gure helburua simplea da, Plazentia ogartera joan eta esploratu. Eta iraganean, ezberdinen arteko elkarlana posible izan zela erakusten badegu. Agian, balore hoietan oinarritutako beste mundu bat posible dela adieraziko dugu. Agian iragana berrera ikiz, beste etorkizun bat eraiki genezake.
שבוע. בית. זקני ים, שריאל. בית. זקני ים. תשעתן, שרי. עמדה? בית. אור פנצ'צן דרו, פונטה אורטן, אור רעון דייטי כלא סעוסר. אז בעלי בת הרפתו הסכרתן, ניקוס תתעלה על המנגו סוטלה. אז אני כאן עונה, ואתה ארתי עונדי ודאו, הייסי הקונטרן חוצן דוניאן, בשביל להשקיע, לנה עונדי יש לנו סם בעלי עונה עניות ארצי, אתה פנצ'צנט, אמן, אמן, אבי סנדי תקרא לקובת גלאו איה גורדצקו. אושטקו. אושטקו בא בא, אוי דה. אנחנו עושים פילם על ההיסטוריה של נשים שנשים 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 Uh, in the 16th century for cod and whale fishing. Yeah, we are excavating in Placentia Island. We're going tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Thank you very much. Where are you guys from? We are from the Basque country, between, between Spain and France. I know where you are. <laughs> nice to talk to you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Claro, ordun, claro, vos pinche tu verde vos. Gari hortan, bale bat harrapatu, eta aukera baldin bat zuten, han, usteko ez zutela honea ekarriko, honea nio. Iru hogei tona, ustea. Hori ekarri, bar da. Oida, sontu ba. Ordun, ba... Bueno... Ya me hauki gozten bestaz pigulte, no, Marta? Hola, xen, bai. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome. Welcome Thank you very back. much. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Yes. You're all I'm here. Great, great. <laughs> Thank you. Rebecca. Hello. 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 <laughs> and we would like to, to organize the excavation with you. Okay. okay? So whenever you is, is convenient with you, 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 you tell us. Right now? Right now is fine. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's meet right now then. Have you have you got maps or what do you need? Yes. Uh, we, we have maps, but are very. Uh, we have charts, but the small charts, yes, well, no, regular no, no, charts. If you got a, okay, you, a map of the island. You, the map the like we used last year. Yeah, that would be okay. good. Okay. Are you going to dive this year? Yeah. When are you going to do that? Well, uh, yeah, I think that the, our staff is arriving today. Yeah. Okay. Can you print me off a map of, you gave me a map of Placentia Island with the LIDAR last year. I'll, I have eight Basque archeologists sitting, standing in the hall. So this is, uh, this is a good map with the LIDAR. Oh yeah. Which, you, which you'll be able to use. So what's the plan? The, the place where uh, we sketch last year is this one. We think uh, that is very interesting to, to, fo to find uh, in this area. So what are you looking for? What do you think you're going to be, are you going to think you're going to be able to find the drying yards? Is that what you're looking for? No, we are, we are going to try to find out the, other, in other places where we found uh, structures, 
the walls and stuff like this. Okay. And we're going to make test trench there. There's, also, uh, there's many different places, like mm -hmm. three or four at least. Okay. So I think there were some yes. in this, in this uh, line. In, I you, think you, one of them was this one. No, in this one. This is pretty exposed on this side of the island. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes. Which is, that's not good, maybe, you think? No. No. Well, it, it, it wouldn't be, you know, in terms of the beach or landing craft or anything, um, but yeah. I don't know. I, I've never yeah, gone right. looking for Basque sites right. before. In this Remember? side, right. we're also going to have you know, some dives here in right. front of, of the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about whales, but this, the site that we found here on Gods is it's full of codfish. So whoever was here fishing for cod, big cod, yes. and we're also out pretty much out in the bay. What so. period do you think? Well, we always assumed it was Native American. We didn't find a lot of European material. But, like I said, we weren't thinking about yeah. Basque. Okay. So, so if you can come once in a while and, I, I and can, check out, I, you know, our work, I, that would be I'll very nice. Definitely check yes. out your work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, this all makes sense. So what else? Hmm. Well, let's... Go to work. Let, 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 <laughs> let, 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 yes. Yeah. You want to take a leak? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Across the street. Oh, oh, that's that's the oh, yeah, let's have a look. Hey, how are you doing? Tell me. Hey, you have a shade tonight? Yeah. Okay. So, which one it is? Oh, right. Oh, this one is. Yeah. Oh, it's a cool one. Yeah, man. Well, no? Hey, it's a mango by two, eh? Bye, bye, bye. Era mango gay tú. O sartuco gayaba. Eh? Ondo, ondo. That's a. That's good. How is the engine? Crew. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, great. We have the boat now. Uh, so tomorrow we buy the equipment, uh, fenders, uh, life jackets. What else? Charts. Yeah. Lights. The fact that you are a coastal historian, you know, yes. I, and you know this area so well, you know, I, I'm just uh, looking forward to well, hearing well. from your uh, thoughts and advice. Well, and do it also, yes, yes. yes. Well, one day I was sailing here with some friends, and then I, 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 I was looking at the chart, and suddenly I, I, I looked at, I saw Placentia Plafenti, Island. I said, well, this is probably the place I mentioned by the natives back then. So Possibly. Yeah, Possibly. So, yeah. so that's why we are digging. Something we know is that the Basque and the Indians, they used to interact. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many records of uh, Indians working with the Basque, mm -hmm. helping them, drying cod, and this is very interesting. So this is something around the history of the Basque fishermen that they came here very early. 
but we don't know much about that, you know, because the, the, the fishermen didn't write. They didn't come here to settle. The other mythology um, in world history is every time somebody goes somewhere, they're coming to settle, to, to sit on the land, to possess the land. But that wasn't their, that wasn't the way they looked at land. Land was a, uh, land was a, a starting point, um, a transit point, a, uh, a camp, literally. Trade on the resources, whether it be fish, fur, or sometimes even timber, and then go away. I mean, what, you know, <laughs> this wasn't an easy place to overwinter. The last thing they wanted to do was stay. They wanted to reap the profits. Uh, and then how we got involved with the land is a whole other story, really. Are there no corporate records um, on the Bosque side? No. Most of what we have is happening the Canadian side yes, because yes. The, the parts Canada, and the yes. government of, uh, of uh, Newfoundland, yeah. Quebec, you know, they all have been looking for yeah. historical yeah. evidence, you know, and we realized that no one has done it yeah. in this part of the United States, no, you you've know? Got a, you've got some <laughs> catching up to do. So we want to go beyond the imagination. You, we yeah. want to... No, I know you do. We want to yeah. find, we, because we, there are written records that they were here, so... But no one has been searching yet. Yeah. Clearly, there were these already these contacts um, uh, of, of all kinds of nationalities. But the important thing to understand is um, these damn American historians, that I call them the terrestrials, the land lubberly types, they can't wait to get off the coast and get in, into the interior. Kind of you stuff. know, John, yeah. uh, I, I know that same thing happens in Europe, yes. in the Basque Country, yes, okay. uh, because, you know, people, not only historians, people have a tendency to understand uh, easier uh, the, the land, yes. you know, yes. the, the, yes. the sea, the ocean is yeah. like another world. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more difficult to understand what's going on. Uh, so that's, I think that's why most of the people focuses in, in, in the earth. Our heritage should be a watery one, not a landed one. And then of course, if you parse this out a little bit and you ask, well, where are all these, what, what do we fight over? We fight over land normally, not water. So many of our worst instincts and, and outcomes have to do with this land lubberly obsession with blood and soil. I'm John Gillis. I'm a historian of, of coasts, of global history, uh, and of uh, coasts around the world. My most a uh, recent book is The Human Shore, uh, which is a treatment of uh, the human shore from the beginnings 2,000, 200,000 years ago to today. Ever wanted to know about coasts will be there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He's not. Uh... John, cheers. Cheers. Uh, Tina, yeah, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome to our shores. <laughs> yes, thank you. It's been very nice yeah, meeting you. Right. Haien bilagoaz. Zuaitzez osatutako labrinto honetan, Uri iraganeko aztarnak aurkitzea espero dugu. Benetako arronka.
Fermín Gaudé. Hortxe Gaudé. Hortxe Gaudé. Orduan, bi gauza ingoizki jau. Bat, interesatzen zeitek, hemengo ere mu hau revisatzea, hau revisatu gure udana. Hau da arreka da, hon lehikua. Hau arreka da. Hau da. Hemen, ondartza honei aurrea jarraitu eta egun bat metro, errekat xulo bat dago, hola. Eta, bueno, errekat xulo hortan, beste aldea, dago beste eremu olako ordeka txiki bat, mendau bezalako ordeka txiki bat, eta orduan ordeka txiki hortan, ba, ingo dugu beste begiratuak. Jungo gea iniaran jarrita, ba, ba, sakamanatuko gea iniaran, hartuko, hasiko gea eremu batetik, eta pasako dugu dana. Dana, pasako dugu, ta, 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 dana. Orduan, zein da helburua? Josu jungoa GPC aquí. Josu li deitu, e, hemen tontorra ziok. Josu jungoa, pin, hemen zulua ziok. Pin, markatzen jungoek. Eh, orduan ba, guazio nara. Guazio nara. Atzo xixia hori ja, gaur gibel urdina. Nigo ontxo bat ikusi eta ondia, ondia, uste dut. Bai, nik, bai. Baina gibel urdina dek. Ke jo, ke tu da. I don't... No me atrevo, no, la setea. No me atrevo. I... I, I, I don't, uh, I don't bear. Right. They are to, to eat, because I don't, but, but, but in Europe, I eat this one. If, if this was Basque Country, a la cazuela. Asko guztatzen zaitek, beste aino gehiago, gara. Bai. Hemen, zulos josi bat dugu, zulos josi, josi. Ba, bea, ez da jose satisfakzio bat egia zu. Ba, gago, ez da, gatelako bat, astko zuloak egiten. Ba, ino ez da egiten beste ezer egiten. Ba, horro da. Hau, poliki, poliki, ba, horro da. Horro da, gimel dugu. Tu segi gimel linea honetan, Xavi. Eh, a ber, bildu zait ez te dano, bildu. Bai, bega, iem. Bildu. Hortxe bertan, zabesten toki ja. Hemen. Venga. Yep, torri. Torri, torri, onea, torri. Bueno, hemen gabe, orduan, ikusten dituzte lauta da txoa bek. Ez? Bai. Cago en la puta, erantzute kola, hostia. Joder. Orduan. Lauta da txoa da be, pareta da be, ikusi tuzue, ez? Bai. Bale, bueno, ba, orduan, hemen dik aurrea, jarriko gea zilan, eta hemen dikan errekaino jungo gea, josu gure atzetik etorrikoa, bakoitzak zerbait topatze unian josuri deitu, josu jungoa, eta fitxatuko. Ados. Bai. Venga, guazen. Esaten du hau dela tontor bat artifiziala. Nik ez dakit, nik hau ez nuke bereiztuko. Zabaldu, zabaldu. Zabaldu eta aurrea. Nen zuen toki ja, puntutako batean hasi metro karroko zulo bat iten. Bale, hori materiala eraman dugu. Materiala eraman, dut zait ez te... Bale, zure jun behar egin. Black and see, just that would say nothing. Don't touch me. All right. You ready? Are you ready? All right. Or you want me to just go straight in? Yeah, go straight. 
it is wet. Come on, John. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> Irla hau, uste baina naundiagoa da. Eta gure arbasoak nunko katuko teziran ez dakigu. Lana oso gogorra izango dela horrik usten dut. Bilaka gabiltzen aztarnak ez dira monumentalak. Eta ondorioz, zailak dira arkitzeko. Aztarna txikia bilatzen ari gera. Oso historia ondi bafrogatuko dutenak. Jatorri oso dezberdina zuten pertsonen arteko lankidetza eta elkaru lertzi historia bat. Gertakari hau, ezagutua izatea merezi duela uste detelako nago hemen. Ziur nago gainera, bere ezagutzak Euskaldunen eta Ipar Amerikaren arteko elkartzea bultzatuko duela. Lengurtean hemen egon txina den? Bai, lengurtean hemen egon txina aldamen nian, horko garbi uni hortan. Eta hortxe topatu ginen indiar aztarra nate gila eta geu baitare Europar jatorrizkoak izan zitezken materialak eta bar. Da, Europearra zeta zan? Bueno, Europearra bat etik gara zaldu zan, indiar nibeletan gara zaldu zan, amazik garen bendeko koniare harri bat, perlatxo bat. Bueno, benetan interes garra ja, ba hori hasierako Europar da indiaren arteko kontakto gara ikua izan leitekelako, eta gidean Euskal Jatorri ikua izan leitekelako, Euskal Dunek ekarretako perla bat izan leitekelako hori, topatu ginen hori. Da perla Euskal Duna izan leitekela, ze ama os, ama, osa ingelesak ama zazpian tortzen dialako? Bai, eta mota hortako perlak topatu dituztelako, batez ere, San Lorenzo Ibai aldian, indiar aztarren bat egitan, eta lotuta daude lehen kontaktu egin. Hau da, arrantzaldiak iritsi eta haiek indiarra egin dituzten kontaktu egin, ba, eskotan, salerosk eta harremanetan erabiltzen dituzte koniare horiek, eta orduan azaltzen dia, eta mota hortakua. You must be Mika, right? Mika, yes. All right, Mika. Nice to see you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this is Machayas. Machayas Bay. Machayas Bay. Yeah, Machayas River flows and mixes into the bay right in this area. Yeah. Well, this, this bay here is the largest concentration of petroglyphs on the east coast of North America. Oh, wow. The petroglyphs are symbols that are carved by spiritual people in our tribe. To call the, um, the spirit is very powerful. You can actually see the ropes coming down. You can see the shape of Abs the ship. Absolutely, you know, and I'm very, very interested in that petroglyph because, well, I read that it has been presented as a 17th century uh, Dutch ship, and I disagree completely with that. Definitely, for me, it's a 16th century uh, Basque ship, yeah. smaller in size and probably earlier in design. And, and what is taking us to, to this coast is to try to find evidences of the presence of the Basque fishermen. In our language, we do have some Basque words. We've had um, linguists who study the Passamaquoddy language um, separate some of the words into um, if there was an English influence, a French influence. And then after I talked with you a few years ago, I asked him to, to look for Basque words. So he came up with one real quick, and it's the word for cloth. In our language, it's called atue. Yeah, and which it comes from the Basque word atorra. Atorra is, is, is a shirt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, these are the kinds of, of words that, you know, we know that uh, were used here by the natives, and that's very exciting. So it's, it's very good to know that, that that happened in the coast of Maine. But I think the, the Basque fishermen, uh, they were open to uh, interact with 
other small cultures. You can stand right there. OK. We have a, a beaded symbol just like this. And it's called the reverse swastika. Uh-huh. Now, in, in our culture, it means peace and friendship. Is that right? We call this in Basque lauguru, which means four heads. Four heads? Yeah, four heads. And yeah, so it's very similar to this one. Mm. Very, very similar. Bueno, Voy a decir que saldo. Es bien ser amiga. No jodas. Ay. Indigar ser amiga. Vale, vale, es cuciña. Es cuciña. No la aquí que es cuciña se vela. Esta acá que te seguían. Torno con marca y que en esta acá, que es cuciña con ser amiga de él. Torno a Nite Anian. Marca que hace esto. Oh, oh, nail. Sweet. Nail. Nail. Square. <laughs> Square nail, very, very old. Nice. Warm. No. Se va a ir bañado. Se va a ir bañado. Se va a ir se gare ikua izan lehik hori. Ba... O... Uso zarra, uso berrile. Fuerte bat, eh? Eta nola... Badago aztertzerik? Zer dan edo? Hombre, bain, goi egoen ez undak eta bat. Hori hiltzea eta arkitu dugu, eh? Bai. Ea, barreko eskarra dek, eh? Zin baz. Piedra zin baz. Eta zati gan fuertia eta ez etxe bat. Ah, no, yo un que fuerte aquí, te siento usted. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. ¿Sabes una que va? Va a ir a Bueno, Xavier, ¿sí? ¿La sé tú algo? Bueno, ahí no Ahí no Ahí no Ahí no Ahí no How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. We had a wonderful day. Come on. Then you'll meet our friend Jeff from Ottawa. And, okay. Uh, and I'll try to remember everybody's name. I think we brought wine as well. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. Great. Fantastic. Well, I have heard from many people already that you're famous. Oh, is that right? Because, well, it's a really small community. Everybody talks to everyone else. And so this is quite uh, yeah, exciting. They are, seeing, uh, they are seeing the camera every day, so. <laughs>
everybody is asking us every day, where are we from? We tell them we are from the Basque Country, and most of the people don't know where that is. No, no, they don't know. The thing is that we would like to meet Saturday with, yes. with you and to show you what we think is a fortress. So you yes. have to let us know if we are right. Because yeah, or I'll tell you if you're crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> our, our, our difficulty is that, you know, uh, these guys, they're used to, to the Basque environment yeah. and everything here is new for us. Oh, he's, bring, he's bringing the... The oh cast. yeah, 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 yeah. That's we that. Want to talk about this? Yeah, we want to talk uh, about that. The the problem. The petroglyph. Yeah. Oh. This is the keel. Yep. This is the bow. This is the forecastle. Okay. This is the, the deck. And this is the the the, the, the yeah the aft castle. And the the uh, the stern. All right. The main mast. The foremast and the mizzen, right here. Uh, so if you see paintings of late 15th century, you know, the shrouds, they, were go, they go way up because the, the, the um, upper sail is tiny or there is none. This is what they saw. This is very, and the, the interesting thing is that they saw the, the, the bottom of the boat. Yes. They saw this, you, see, you know, because if, if you see the, the boat floating, you know, you will record the upper part, mm. and they they recorded the kill. Mm. So th they saw this yeah. beach. Uh, I would say that that ship, the hull would look like a 16th century one, but the rigging is older. And this is I I, I suspect that this is extremely important. This is very revealing uh, a petroglyph. Yeah. Very very important. Mm. More than they think it is. I do believe that, that this is a, a perfect location for ba early Basque sites. Logical for the location, for the cod fishing, trading with the Indians. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack to find a site, but I do believe that we will, as long as we keep looking, we will find something eventually. Gaurko plana zein dara nekoa? Fuertia jarriko ditu. Fuertia ni berdi gaurrena. Bueno, fuerte. Hola ditu kusio. Hola ditu kusio. Ez dena izan bakarria. Inazio. Nota gero ditu. Nota gero kotak eta hartzia faltak. Gaurko eta zein ginen garbik eta na. Kotak hartzion bitartia gainontzekoa itiazio gainontzeko enborrak eta tea. Garritu bat eman orokorra. Eta geho ja indago laukitean, hasiko ditu garretean eta ez dut, 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 Eskeria, zera jauze izango da, baina ziok lur geruzan moztuta, lauki bat inaz, eta geho alde honeta, ba, tontor bat zakak, bete lan egin da zakak, alde honeta, uste zue, nola gan tontorra, alde honeta. Ez da, geho izango da. Bat berrogeita mazazti. Bat urte horretara jolaztu gabe. Bat, bi, behati. Bat, lau, sei. Arkeologoek badakite, frogarik txikien aurkitzeko ere, pazientzia izugarria behar dela. Aurkitzen dituzten iraganeko objetuekin, eraikitzen dute historia. Baina ni ez naiz arkeologoa, eta iragan hori nolako haute zen, irudikatzen zaiatzen naiz.
balea zaleak indiarrekin elkartrukean ikusten ditut. Euskera eta pasamako odin asketa bat erabiliaz. Egindako lanaren ordainetan, txalupak eta burnizko ramintak ematen. Urtutzen ari diren balesainaren eta labetako kearen usaiak hartzen ditut. Guzti hori hemen gertatu zala, tekstu zarretan irakurri dut. Baina norain arrantzale haien historia, obetu ezagutzeko, haien aztarnak aurkitu behar ditugu. Egitea esan da, jode, inglesana gorra ere. Bai. Bai, ematen doiek idatzi dutela munduaren itxes historia argi dago. Hombre, bakik zertan asmatu jegen inglesak. Kartagena negurra emate ziok Blas de Lesok Bernonei, eta hori desagertara zitetek ben historia. Hori ez dek ezizitzen. Bere jaio terrian ere bai, eh? Hor Blas de Lesok zein dan oso jende gutxi dakik. Hortzio problema. Guk ez dira hau, guk lanketa hori ez dira hauin, bestia egin ditek, eta gaur egunean dituk munduan kultura nagusi bat. Eta dituk potentzi bat. Guk ez dira hau lan hori, eta ez gaitu ginor. Porque ite izki dira gauzak, Gauzak aportatzen izki jau, eta... Ba, liburu horretan, nik aspaldi nire akurri nuen liburu hori, Rebekak eskuratu zian badia urte batzu. Euskaldu nahi buruzko oita amar bat aipamen daude, o igual gehio. Baina, danak, hola, bigarren plano batean. Liburu badek, guabanak ilen indituen historia buruzkoa den, mila bostu eta bi mila garen urtean bitartean. Eta, azkenean, Horra saltza ditu, guabanak ioien harremanak, inglesakin, frantzesakin. Eta holandesakin, ebai. Ofizial, harreman ofizialak. Liburu eziok josita, euskal eraginez, josita, baina etziok kapitulo bat, etziok planteamentu bat, etziok eser, euskaldunak lurraldea betan ze eraginea eukiduenari buruzko monografikoki biltzeunik. Dana zabek, tartekatuta, datua. Eta... Liburu azten da, gozdol den topaketarekin. Eta gozdol honea etorri, eta ikusten duen lenda bizi gauza da Euskal Txalupa bat. Horrela azten da. Eta gero eten gabeko aipamenak daude Euskal Txalupe iburu. Torreko zailo, Txalupa bizkaina bat behar ezatik, bizkai xalop bat, flipauta gehatzitu. Txalupa bizkai eren, esaten dut, bizkaitarra txalupa bezala aipatzen dut, o bizkai txalupa bezala aipatzen dut. Bizkai xalop, o bazk xalop. Hori gozdol den kasuan, eh? Bale, arrantza, ze behar izan zuntzeu, nola tan etzekien beste guk genekia hona? Zein dek berez garretia zunea? Ez que beste inorrek etzak bale igarrapatzen. Bale, abarpo jakin jota harrapatzia, hori Euskal Herrian garatuko den teknika badek. Eta hori beste inorrek, Europan beste inorrek etxitxak egin. Bale txalupa. Bale txalupa dek lorpen teknologiko ikaragarri ja. Bai, bai, zalantzari gabe. Inorrek etzazkik. Inorrek etzazkik. Iztena ida, eh? Laino iztena ida. Berri zea ekartzen, eh, lanioa. Ego mende baldeak, ongo aitu. Ego mende baldeak, ongo aitu. Hombre, eh? Ez zer gatik, ongo aitu. Gunor, ez, gunora bi... Hau, egin dago barra, iritsi gira, eta... Gunora bi hartu dugu, ne etortzeko. Hau da. Horrantza goaz oain, mende bala? Egin pokura hartzeo. Bai, mende bala ea goaz. No. Ea, susegi. Susen, susen. Hor. Hurra, nesak hau. Hau, este, placentia. Bai. Hau alda. Hau izango hau. Hor da, nintzak alde hartza, ez ez altzen da. Hau da, bi ondartzen artekoa. Bi ardi artekoa. Baina hau ez da gure ondartza, eh? Hau ez da gure ondartza, hau da bestia. Hau bestia, eh? Hau bestia, eh? Hau bestia, da. Hor da, zkenia. Bueno, gure aventura txikia izan dugu. Abizu bat. Hau zera, hostia. Hor ez alda ostulo bat hor. Zantu bat hor kaldean bat. Txik bat bai. Hori dago. Ja. 
Soy Javier. Nick. Nick hemen ikusten dut. Txalupa baten forma eta neurria duen paretatxo bat. Eta imaginatzen dut hemen txalupa bat iraulita. Babes gizan. Hori da ikustetena. Zer forma, bera, honek izango ditu 6 metro luze, bizabal, Euskaldunako honeak hartzen zituzten txalupa sortzi metrokoak zian. Behaz, metrotxo bat aurrea eta beste metro bat atzea estu-estua dian muturtxo horiek gainetik. Eta ez dagit, eh? Hemen naufragatu zuten edo mian negua pasatzeko edo denbora luzea pasatzeko babesarik honena hori litzateke. Hemen izle honetan bizien basarretara gehazko aspertzitu egin xaren. Denbora ez gauz txaren gauza egiteko. Bueno, izan lehike, 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 izan lehike. Ni harritzen, hau. Ni izan lehike, arkeologua, baina on. Olako formarik, bai, bai, ezke, obalatua da. Kuriosua zarak, bai. Justo aga, txalupa baten forma eta neurria. Orduan, e... Oi, argazki aereo nik guztan deunen, erresiago ikusiko dut, ze itxura dukenda, ze formalko. Bai, bai, oso interesgarria da, oe. Oso. Hartzen baten da. Oso interesgarria. Hor sua arkituko dugu. Eh? Sua arkituko dugu la hor. Elitzek etxara izango? Txalupan ezpilean. Bai. Ikatz pixkat egin? Bai. Sutxigi bat. Behala berotuko zan. Bai, bai. Hemen negu alatza dira, eh? Doia izan. Xavier, nea. Bai. Venga, ba, ala, hasi lan, nea. Venga. Hau oso emozionantea da, eh? Bai, bai. Josu, arrazkekin bai juzuez? Primeran. Hosti, harri eta nago hemen hau zulatzen azteko. Ba, moen dik, eh? Jo zu lehenengo eta binatek ero, arrazak behar nazate. Euskal txalupak bi metroko zalera du. Batzutan batelak gehiago zuten, bi metro terdi, segur eski. Eta hori da, mindik horrea, daukagun zalera. Luzera ere bai. Ander oso emozio nautan dago. Oso. Mathieu etorri da, hau da Mathieu. Hola. Mathieu, Maider, Beñat, Xavier, Xavier qui est le directeur de la fouille. Ok. Bon, on a ouvert ça, on a cassé le mur ici, pour voir ce qu'il y a. Il avait une forme ovale et vide à l'intérieur. Ça pourrait être un petit refuge provisoire qui s'est recouvert avec une baleinière. Ouais, renversé. On appelle la chalupa chabola. Hmm. Chabola, ça veut dire la maisonnette ou... OK. Voilà. <rire> chalupa chabola. <rire> C'est du basque, tout ça. Hein? <rire> Horrera doaz, baina norain dik ez dakigu, arrizko egitura bitxi hau zer ote den. Kaldutako arrantzale batzuk, irudikatzen ditut bertan, txalupa baten azpian, neguari aurre egiten.
gero alde egin eta guztia goroldio eta zuaitzen menera utziko zuten. Nahikoa litzake haien aztan nasanguratxuak aurkitzea. Hemen zer gertatu zen eta babesleko zentzuk eraiki zuten jakiteko. Ostra, galante, hitu que. Eso te altzia nago. Bat itetek. Bai, ez, eske hitu zer leku horrein ena hartu dira. Puskatu nago eta, oposta. Puska, eh, rotura zarra, eh. Oso zarra, eh. Eta kortada, no, espia. Ara, bilak eta hasi da emaitzak ematen. Iraganeko aztarnak aurkitzen hasi gera, baina pieza esan guratxoa behar ditugu. Telia zatiren bat, arpoi bat, ere kuntza honen jatorri kulturala adiraziko duen zerbait. Zer gertatu zan hemen? Nork ere ikizituen arizko pareta hauek, eta nola tan etzituzten aztarna gehiagutzi. Bizira hopen testu inguru bat izan daitekela uste dugu. Agian, horregatik ez dugu haien ondasun hurrien aztanarik aurkitzen. Horendik ez dakigu, aurkitu nahi ditugun Euskal Arrantzalen arrastoak izango diren ala ez. Salut, brav, como va tu? Bon, aussi, aussi, nous sommes en plein, en plein dans une, dans une aventure très folle. On a trouvé des choses assez, assez surprenantes. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai besoin de ton avis. On est une équipe, euh, on, est, on est sept euh, du côté basque. Après, il y a quelques, quelques archéologues de, du Parc National Acadia qui, qui collaborent avec nous. Voilà, je voudrais savoir si tu aurais la disponibilité de venir nous rendre visite, mais sachant que Montréal n'est pas si loin que ça. Et tu, tu aurais la disponibilité de faire un tour ici pour voir... Tu aurais. Ça serait vraiment une grande aide de ta part. D'accord, d'accord. Bon, très bien, tu, tu, tu me confirmes ça. D'accord, eh, eh, Brad, merci beaucoup. Salut. So, John, where is that map of Biscay Pond? Oh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's in the Bristol area. This is amazing, you know, Biscay Pond. I asked local historians if, you know, they knew the origin of the name. No one has a clue. You know what? Biscay is an old word for Basque, a very old one. Uh, well, something happened here we, in the, with the Basque context. So it looks like a very strategical place, and that's where it's located, the uh, Biscay Pond. So we are going to do some exploration with the canoe, see what it looks like, because, you know, Javier suggested that uh, maybe it has the name also because of the Biscay shallop. Sometimes they used to hide the boats right. in ponds, they won't be stolen. Also, they will be protected from the ice and the snow of the winter, you know, and be right. taken back. That, 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 that's documented, that happened in, in Canada, you know, so. And they prefer fresh water over salt. Oh, yeah, yeah.
my goodness. <laughs> You've been busy. Yeah, very busy. Rebecca, let's let's see the fortress. Okay. <laughs> Ex-fortress? Do you think it's not a fortress now? <laughs> it is, it uh, is. All the material is to 19th century. Uh, it's, it's modern yes. uh, construction. But I don't know what is this. House or... Um, all the, the the artifacts are modern, nineteenth, mm twenty-second -hmm. century. Yeah. It's brick, it? The rocks were kind of filled in on in this. Yeah, in this place where yeah. where with the gray soil that covers the rest. So and there were other more rocks that maybe were were thrown after. I bet this is where the chimney was. Fireplace, big chimney, fell in. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. This is a house? Yeah. Yeah. The reason they were here, they were near the shore, but not right on the shore, yeah. is because they were hiding out. Yeah. They, if they were French, they would have been hiding out from the English. That's what I think. So okay. the, the, the interesting place now is, the is those things. We need hooks. Yes. Yes, yeah. hooks. yes, hooks and and okay. I don't know if they told you we are planning to get someone else to come out and yeah, say to look at it. Okay, so this is what we found. We opened that up, okay? Uh -huh. It was a continuous wall. Yes. Oval shape like this, perfectly made. You know, we can see that there because all the rocks are put like this. Yes. Flat. Yeah. <clears throat> and it has the shape of a boat. You know? So that's what is quite amazing. So I don't know what you think. And we didn't find any 19th century or 18th century uh, artifact, nothing. Can I go down inside? Yeah. Yes. I would have thought originally that it was a spoil pile, just mm -hmm. a pile of rocks when yeah. they cleared out a big field. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not, because, because it's got because structure the, to yeah, it. Yeah, the inside was empty, completely empty. Yeah. So it was, it was, you know, carefully done. Well, where's the bone? Yeah, the bone, Asurra, E. It's the, um, mm. the end of, a, of the cannon bone, yeah, mm. of something. It probably... It's, it's got the... Yeah. Xavi. Sí. Y caza. Caza, a Vale. Vale. Va. Sean pote, bueno, Vale, vámonos, va. Venga que se polcha. Artu eta jaso. Vale. Eh, porque interesa tener jaso que ikusi kan beste ser estalas Vale. Carbono 14 con analiza, carbono malo con analiza, ingo de yuta, o que mango digo, egitura uno y escuadán. Va a que sube carbono malo agua, que es que ni han, va, bueno, es digo, urte se hace mango, baño, veña pin, se mende tacuadán, berro y tamar urte con gola ver aquí, va, va a jaquingo de userdán, porque hola, chichu en Gavilza, está aquí userdán. Vale, ahora hay cronológico batean, cocatzen. Cocatuco de. A ver, años que te sigue. Bat 6-0. Bat, ok. 0, vea, si bat. That st structure over there. It's the, the shallow part in the middle. Right, right. That looks earlier yeah. to me. Um, but I wish we, but you know, all there is is 19th century in brick. That's, yeah. So, 
Um, I don't know. Native Americans used to no. build mounds? Or? No. It's, it's European or Euro-American. No. I don't know what this is. Nik irudikatu nuen lekuan zutegi baten ikatzak aurkitu ditugu. Horrek, gure elburura gerturatzen ari gerela pentsarazten dit. Baina nexilik egon behar dut. Horain arkeologoen eta haien neurketen garaia da. Haiei begira nagoela amesten jarraitzen dut. Duela alarion urte, txaluparen ondoan pizutako zuaren bazterrean, Euskal Marin Eltalde bat irudikatzen dut. Euri, edo lurpean ikusten ditut, agian indiarren batekin, babeslekoa konpartituz. Ukorein gure lagun Amerikarrekin lana konpartitzen dugu mezena. Irla honetatik bertatik, bere txaluparekin berriz itxasoratuko zian, laino artean, baleen bila. Uorein plazintziako basoan, haien aztarnen bila gabiltzen bezala. Goze enbrat loben ikustea. Bai, bea Montrealeko Unibertsitateko historia eta itxasontzi zarren arkitektura naditua da. San Juan Belontziaren ikerlari nagusietako bat izan da. Eta gu bilatzen egian gauzetan, ikuste eta aditurik ahondiena izan daitekela. Hai ditu enbrat! Qué bien. Hombre, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien. Déjame presentarte. Este es mi colega Yosu. Es un arqueólogo. Brad Lowen. Es un placer estar aquí. Hola, Brad. 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 Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, the Canadians, they found lots of things about, about the, the history of Basque fishermen because the government decided to do so. Mm -hmm. But it's not the case for the United States. That's why we're here. This is Placentia. That Placentia? one. Yeah. The, no, the left is there's right. another one in the back, so, you know, you mix two. So the left, the left side of that mass, this is Placentia. Right then, where the fall yeah. starts, yeah. you know? That point the is Placentia, yes. Okay. Well, I think I'm Mathieu. Salut, Mathieu. My dear, Leire. Bonjour. Salut, Mathieu. Salut, Mathieu. Salut, Mathieu. Salut, Mathieu. <laughs> Brad, let me introduce you to Xavier Alberdi. He's the director of the excavation. How do you do? How do you do? I get to meet you finally. Are you? Are you fine? But you know, I, I like to show you some some parts of the island can be interesting. Okay, so last year we found lots of remains from. Uh, that, that's that's the place we found the bead. Yeah. Uh, the uh, very old arrows. No, because we have to imagine this island with no trees, you know? Or with very few trees. With very few trees, I think so. So it would be a very nice place to dry cod. We should, uh, we should cut one of the trees down and count the rings. Okay. All right. A big one? Just an average tree. An average tree, tree. okay. See how old the forest is. All right. This looks like a very nice shelter for a galleon. The citrus right there, Mount Desert is right there as a reference. You have the open ocean. Yeah. You have everything you need here. That's and right, and lots of cod at the time. Here in Maine, we are still looking for signs of a Basque presence. This is the southern extent of the codfish's natural range. And during the Little Ice Age, whales and seal congregated here as well. Basque fishermen would have been at home, just like Xavier and his team of archaeologists today. Basques and whales have a complex relationship that goes back many centuries. 
Today, whales are a common sight from Maine to Labrador, but they rarely visit the Basque country. Basques, of course, remember the whales, but do the whales also remember the Basques? Archaeologists build bridges across time and space. They communicate across cultures in a kind of archaeological pigeon. Sometimes they still carry their ancestors' social baggage and struggle to liberate themselves from the weight of the past. So what's found Calabre. around fishing stations underwater? It's uh, really quite limited, mm. but uh, the first thing that you would like to look for is wrecks. Yeah. <laughs> Good point, uh, so, so right, wreck, but the shipwreck and small boat. The small boats would be used in fairly great quantity and they would be stored underwater over the winter. Okay. So they would be, they could be put in a pond or they could be put in some area uh, low enough in the water so that when the ice comes in at low tide, the boats would not be affected. Another thing that's really obvious underwater are um, uh, the remains of wharves. Uh, in the shipping, in, in the fishing trades, these were called stages. The land like this, yes. and underwater like this. So what they would do is build a stage like this. With, with pale, okay, yeah. Piers, but they would not be driven into the ground. They would have rocks piled around them. Okay, that's good to know. That is one of the most important underwater features that you can look for. The, the structure would, would look like, um, so that's the shore coming down. So there would be more rocks around here, around here, and around here. So they would be piled up around these posts. So if you look at it in, from the top down, from the shore, you would see a stone area like that. Okay. Be, there would be higher areas. Mm. Theoretically, the big anchors would be in shallower water here and here. In shallow water, yeah, and the shore, on both but, shores. Yeah, and it wouldn't be in the middle. Mm. So the best chance to, to find a shipwreck would be between the little gut island and Placentia. Well, um, obviously this is a, a good shore here because there's an accumulation of sediments. Mm. And for small boats like the Chalupas, they would be in this area here. That's that, that Barashwa. Mm. The interior pond, that is perfect for chalupas. We're talking about this area here, mm -hmm. both sides and this side, and shallow water here. Six meters, try the camera. If everything's okay, we keep going. To the 10. To 10. And we stay to the depth of 10. We go to the bar. That's right. Eight, we come back. Yeah. Who is guiding? You guide. He's with the compass, I'm with the buoy. Canada, the archaeology of the Basque presence reached a new level at Red Bay, 1,200 kilometers north of here, on the underwater site of a Basque whaling ship, the San Juan. Archaeologists found the shipwreck on their very first dive in the icy Labrador waters, an astounding feat made possible by careful historical research. Underwater exploration is often rather uncertain. We can be diving a few meters from a collapsed shipwreck and fail to see it. The wooden timbers fertilize a forest of seaweed that hides the artifacts that we're looking for. Shipwrecks have a special appeal because of their momentary nature. The artifacts we find on wrecks were not lost or discarded. Like Pompeii, 
Shipwrecks were functioning societies, and each artifact is still in its original context. How did it go? Did you see anything? Yeah, well. Like you hit this way? A few modern artifacts. Yeah, coat, like a coat, coat bottle bottles. and uh... oh, some plates and pottery as well. Thank you. you no know, anchors, no shipwrecks. Difficult to see. Yeah, because yeah. if you if you try to do it away, yeah, all the mud comes out. Yeah. You know? ah, we are trying to, to go around the, the algae. You see the the the, the bottom. We need you for a moment. Okay. So we would like to show you some places uh, and get your advice, if okay. you don't mind. I'll just show you something here. Oh, yeah, that's what we, you, you were looking. Now you want to know how old this forest is, that's right? That's right, yeah, yeah. So, count them. Yeah, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. 40. 40 years old. 40 years. This is an average size tree. So in 1950, there weren't trees here. Mm. So this is a very young forest. Yeah. Mm. What do you see here? So what I see is, are these late, 18th, 19th century strategies. Uh, we're not in the Basque period. Um, I don't see anything that's older. Um, I don't see anything that corresponds to a fishing station right now. You know that, you know that the logic of the Basque fishers does not follow the later logic. So you have to sort of yeah. fair abstracts. You only They're have probably to. closer to the logic of the uh, natives. I'm wondering, because the natives are after shell, they're not after cod. Yeah. So it may not be the same logic either. Mm -hmm. Because your original idea that the Basque fishers were here, it's Placentia Island. Uh, it's an excellent spot for putting your ships. Uh, there's a barachua on the other side for your chalupas in winter. Uh, all the larger landscape ingredients are here for a, a cod fishing station. We just need to understand yeah. the whole area. In the coast of Maine, not far away from here, there is a Biscay Pond. That's another mysterious name, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, that can be very old, because the Biscayans, they left these shores as far as we know a long time ago. In Canada, um, the word Biscayan, uh, Biscay, is a 16th and early 17th century word. Yeah, Nobel and, Biscay. And then sometime around 1650, the word Biscay disappears and they start to say Basque. Uh-huh. We ask local historians uh, the so, origin so of the name of uh, Biscay Pond, and no one seems to know. It, it, is, it is logically earlier than, than 1650. Right, that's very interesting. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The word pond is interesting, and it's, a, it's an old word in, in Newfoundland, pond. Um, is almost always associated with the fisheries. Is that right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Huh? Um, you can have, and, and these are always small lakes that are close to the sea. Those are, those are the ponds. Okay. That's a specialized word in, in Newfoundland. Uh-huh. Well, that's interesting. Archaeology has a paradoxical character. Its outward image is one of adventure and discovery, while its inner nature is cautious and cumulative. 
I think Shabia and its team are learning about the Basque presence on the coast of Maine. Some of the oldest place names in Penobscot Bay have a Basque sound to them. If you were looking at old maps and you noticed names that sounded like Placencia, Pescaria, Arambiga, and Pentacoeta, and you saw mountain peaks called the Three Daughters of Navarre, wouldn't you suspect that the Basques had been here? Until you come here and start investigating, you'll never be satisfied. Archaeology is built on patience, determination, and learning from past experience. The way we do archaeology and think about our work is also the way we build our collective future. This is the, the chalupa chabola. It was empty in the middle completely. Like this? Yeah, or just, well, just, we just cleaned that up, but you know, it was very much like this. It was like with moss, covered with moss. Mm -hmm. So we found this very strange. Can I, can I go in? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. The dimension of a Basque chalupa came to my mind suddenly. But there's no cultural material in there? No. Yeah. And there is uh, Brad. Charcoal was found just outside the wall, right there, in the corner, just next to the wall. Here and over there, too, charcoal. That's what, that's what we sent to analyze. We yeah. should have the answer in a week. This is excavated, mm. the, but these rocks are flat. Yeah, they're flat. That was my first reaction. This was, these were stones collected so that they could cultivate the, the soil around it. So where did these rocks come from? We don't know. And they're, they're local, they're local rocks, but they're not the ones that you have on the beach. How far are we from the beach? Uh, right here, it's 150, very close. 150 meters? Or even less, I would say. 100, I think. 100 meters. Yeah. To there and to there. Yeah, we're like in the middle. You know, we're in a corner. Yeah. And there's the same distance to that beach over there. North to north and to... Yeah. Okay. To and east. To east. So this is the height here. It goes down and it goes down and it goes down. Yeah, but over there, you know, it climbs up, you know. Yeah. The... This would be the kind of place where you could dry fish as well. Um, you could also have, in some places you have, um, in, in uh, Newfoundland, you have um, sort of like tables that are about this high with fishnet over the top. Like the oldest way to do it is just on the rock, yes. on, the, on the ground. And then at some point when the people are more established, they will put little posts in and a wooden structure. In French it's called a vigno. Mm. Uh, a vigno is, ra is a raised structure. It's about as high as a table, so you can yes. reach out like that, or with a stick, turn things over. Mm. But that does not explain the excavation. Why is it mm. excavated there? That's, I still don't, I still don't understand it. I'm just throwing out some hypotheses. This guy is interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Well, Rebecca said this, exactly the same thing. Bueno, pues, Neil Zeit, 
positivo izan dela azkenean indeuna arkeologiako lanak ez du izaten askotan garbiak emaitzak ez du izaten garbi garbiak emaitzak izate ja ba interpretatu berrekoak o sea normalean egiten dugu zulopilo bat eta egongo zea bilatzen ta zulopilo egiten baina ez dezu ez dezu bilatzen amarretik bilatzen ez da zer aurkitzen baina aurkitzekin nahiko nahiko balio ez arrazoia gu ze tortzeko ta bilatzen egin dena bilatzeko Ba, aurten ez bada, etorko urtean edo guztuz, ez da izango da. Gu, edo beste batzuk. Momentat irekin dugu bidea, eta, eta, bueno, lanpio batzen dugu. Eta, emengo jendearekin ibili gara, harremanetan, mitzer zuzen. Ba, ekarren, ez hasi bak eta, ekarren atzen. Eta, ni horregin gaitzen. Harritua gelditu naiz, izan duten interesa, eta beti baze harrera ona indi duten. Eta, bueno, ba, hori gogo pila batekin jarraitzen dut, eta topatuko dugulakoan dago. Ia bete, ja pasa dugu hemen, zuloak egiten, egun bat egin omen ditugu, batzuk txikiak, beste batzuk oso ondiak, eta oindikan ez dakagu oso argi, arkitu ditugun aztarnak, Euskaldun nadian, batzuk bat egu ezetz, askok indiarra dia, batzuk oso zarrak, Ba, hemen dituzte iru mila horte batzuk, beste batzuk, ba, nahiko berria dia. Eta gero, inglesen eta frantxesen, hemen sortzi eta hemen txigarra hemen deko azterna, hartu ditu. Zeru gartea elurrak estaliko du, eta zingo dugu bilatzen jarraitu. Lehen balea zaleak iten zuten bezala, orain guk ere etxera itzuli behar dugu. Haiek gelatartean ezingo zuten baletan egin. Gu beraien aztarnak elurpean bilatu ezin ditugun bezala. Ez dakit, duela laren urte, hainbeste zuait zegoen ikirlo honetan. Baina orain, baso itxi bat osatzen dute. Eta badirudi bertan, zuaitz bakoitzaren atzean, mamu bat izkutatuta dagoela. Gure arbasoak, lainerten galduri jarretzen dute. Eku honek ez digu bere iragan osoa dirazien nahi. Bagoaz, baina itzuliko gera. Gure arbasoek urtero urtero oitzuten bezala. Bitartean, plazentziako sekretoak gorderi jarretuko du. Bueno, iritsi da erantzuna. Eta beratuko dugu zeintzu duen emaitzak. Bueno, hemen atea zei dugu kaligratu gabe. Kaligratu zak? Bara, ez, hemen dago, hemen dago. Ba, maitza erraroa da, zein baten digu amargarra emendekoa da. Oi, bai, oi, 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 Behatzi egun da hogei eta behatzi egun da iru hogeita bost, mila eta hogeita bost. Ba, hori bak ez ezin nahi dun, ez? Hori oso bitxia da, ez? Ba, hau... Indiarrena da, ez? Ez, ba, oso, oso, oso bitxia da. Indiarrena, baina hor daukagu material bat. 
burnizko erramentak erabilijaz moztuta dauna. Zurra. Eta gainea... Eta gara jortan indiarrak ez dakate burnizko erramentak. Eta rebekak esan digunaren arabera indiarrak etzituzten egiten arritzko paretak. Eta amargarren mendeko egitura bat... Topatu balin bat deu. Burnilla erabilijaz moztutakua. Urba mikingo dia? Zurra, murnilla erabilijaz moztuta daukan, ezurra daukana. Bueno, ba ez dakit, igual ez da guri izango, baina nirutzen zei kriston arkikuntza dela. Ba, bai, ba kriston arkikuntza. Bai. Oso, oso arregarria dau. Ez dakit zer egin, Xaber. Ez dakit zer egin. Ba, ba... No interpretatu hau. Egin berdan da, egin berdeuna da, informazio hau oso ondo kudatu berko da. Ze... Dakizu duen bezala bikingo mania bat ezistitzen da. Bai. Eta nik ez nuke nahi bikingo mania hortan ero hori eta alimentak hori da. Ez eti duitzen ikerlari dugu hortan jarduen berde unikan. Baina bai, dala datu bat, bani guzte Rebekari lehen bai lehen jarri bertza joan jakinan gainean. Eta... Eta pentsatu berkoa urrengo pausuak zein izan behar duten. Porque hola gorki kuntzea egin ben, guen digan ez dute egin. Kostalde honetan, hemen esate desplazentian. Hemen kostalde hozu bat. Arkitu dugu guri ez dan zer bait, baina ustez. Ustez? Baina oso litekena da bikingo izatea. Zuri txarrez. Lehen beste alde bat erikan, mundu bat dabil bikingoen aztarnategia bilatu nahian. Nere ustetan, kriston bombazua da. Orduan, izan leke, mugu bat, jode, jende pila baten gana iritsi dedin, bikingoetan, bikingo maniaz, bustita den jende hoien gana iritsi dedin, Euskal Balezaleen odisearen berri. Eta bikingoen mania hori izan dedin igual Euskal mania bat pisteko modua. Xavier, hemen koincidentzia hondia dauzkau, ze hau da John Gillisen liburua, gure bizilaguna. Bai. Eta, bueno, The Human Shore. Eta... Eta, bueno, hemen gauza harri harri bat arkitu nun. Atentzioa ditu ziana, antza duena gure... gure txalupa txabolarekin. Eta da, uste, Dinamarkan ez Godlanen dagoen txalupa forma duen ilobi bat. Godlan, hori zio Baltikuan. Baina sekulako antza daka guriarekin. Indik, baina degi ez dago horkikuntza polita. Bai, entes garria da. Polita da. Segur eski, hau izan, eski izan genun. Bea, diberte garria litzateke hau bikingoa izatea, Ze Euskal Herrian jakin min gehiago piztuko luke. Hau, bikingoa izan da, bikingoa izan da. Balesa lehen astarnago, arantza lehen astarnago. Guria izatea baino. Ba, mutuniak, hortzako ba. Irla honetara erronka batekin iritsi ginen. Gure iraganaren zati bat argitu nahi genuen. Estatu batuetako historiaren zati bat ere badena. Horaingo honetan ez dugu nahi aina horkitu, baina gertu babiltzalaren zantzua bai. Badaki guira ganori hor dagoela, nun baitan izkutatuta, gure zai. Horrek bilatzen jarraitzera bultzatzen gaitu. Horain, abentura honetan bide lagunak ditugu. Bertakoek orain badakiten hor garen eta zeren bila gabiltzan. Gure arbasoen bila ibili geran bitartean, aurkitu nahi degunaren berri eman diegu. Bertakoekin elkarlan erako gogo zedor eginen, eta harremanak sortu dira. Orain elkarrekin ari gera lanean. Ozi guaz, gure arbason hori mingaldu aldarrikatu dugu herri handi honetan. Haien aztarnen bila jardun gera laino artean, 
haiek uraundietan balen atzetik aritzen ziren bezala. Haiek baleolioarekin mundu argiztatzen zuten bezala, guk bi kultura ezberdien arteko elkarlan historia ura argiztatu nahi dugu. Beste mundu bat posible izan zela dirazten duen historia bat. Etorkizunerako eredugarria izan beharko lukeena.